Hey everyone, today we're going to have a look at the clear command when you're using Minecraft Education. Alright, so the clear command can be like super simple and also super complicated at the same time. Now, if you're just in the game and you just write in forward slash clear and hit enter, it'll clear out your hotbar. If you write clear and then at P, which is the nearest player in a command block, it'll just clear everything out of their hotbar. So that's really important to know that you can just do this forward slash clear basically with none of these in here at all. You only really need the second one if you want it as set up as a trigger from something else. So someone stepped on a pressure pad, so that it affected, it cleared out all their inventory. It only starts to get tricky when you want to start adding in some really specific things. So only clear certain items that only have a certain data value or, or you only want to clear out certain amounts. So that's what else we have here. This is where you can specify. So you can ask the game to check if a player is holding a specific item and to clear that out. Now the data value here is required for when you're dealing with things like stained glass or wool and they have different colors, which means they have different data values. Um, so just remember that if you don't put one in, it will just kind of clear out the base level version. And then the fourth component, which is not always as commonly used, it's maybe only if you want maybe all players or that player to only be holding a certain amount of an item, is that you can clear out a max count of it. So if you want everyone to only have one of something, you can basically kind of clear out a certain number of that, but it is definitely optional. So let's have a look at this example, and we're gonna be a bit tricky here. We're gonna use a command that we've previously learned which is the test for. So if you're watching this and you haven't done test for before, really good to go back and check out that video. So basically I've already set that up in that world, but we've got this ender pearl and we want to clear it out. Now this is the pathway through to the next part of my training, but underneath here, which we're gonna cover up in a second, is this kind of hidden area that holds those commands. And that's really important. You wanna make sure your command blocks aren't visible. So I've already pre-set up this test for, so just really quickly on this one, as I said, watch the other video if you need to know more, but all it's doing is it's looking for a player that is passing through this position. And that position, 109.32.248, with a radius of one, is directly above my head here. So they have to walk through that pathway. And when they do that, it will recognize that that's happened. And that's where we're going to put in the clear command. So I'm gonna go forward slash clear. I'm gonna say, just do it to the nearest player. So anyone who kind of walks through to that next stage. And then I'm just gonna tell it what it is. So I want it to remove all ender pearls. There we go. Now, a cool little trick with this one that I will show you, if you ever, want an inventory item in a game to be non-accessible, as in they can't pull it out of anywhere, is that all you need to do is probably change this to, instead of at P to add all, change this to repeat and change it so that it's always active. And then what that will do is it will basically remove ender pearls and when anytime anyone tries to get one, it will just keep removing it. So a little bit of a hack, but it does come in useful. I have created worlds that use that. So let's test this out. We're gonna come up, we are going to finish this off, tidying that up so we have no idea it's there. And then this is what you're looking for. I'm holding an ender pearl right now. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move through and then it's gone. It gets taken out of my hand and it disappears because I walk through that test right there, that test four position, which activated the redstone repeater, which set off that command to clear out the ender pearl that I was holding. It's a cool little one, especially when you set it up with something like test four. People have no idea it's happening, but I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you again soon.